Hello, I'm Luke. This is Juliana. Say hello, Juliana. Hello, everyone. And we're going to be talking today about Volley Club right here on the screen. As you can see, we can see exactly what you're seeing here as well. Uh, is one of my favorite ever tournaments uh, of, uh, of Volley Club, EJC 2019. This is just some stuff from the vlog that we recorded on the day. Juliana's watching, oh, you're doing the camera work. And at the time, I was doing some commentary. Yes. Really, really fun tournament. And I really, really enjoy watching the Volley Club at the EJC. Except, that's kind of a lie. I really like watching what this is, which was the semi-finals, the third place match, and the final. Probably not even the third place match, because that's when it gets really good. Yes. And the reason it gets really good is because the Germans, uh, and let's say this is a European convention final, semi-finals, but it's like Germany versus, uh, Germany and Germany versus Germany and Germany in one semi-final, and Germany and Germany and Germany and Germany in the other semi-final, so the final is always Germany, Germany versus Germany, Germany. So the Germans have optimised their play style for the tournaments that they organise at the EJC. And the way they're playing it. And the way, yeah. they, that, and the way that they play it, they're the best at how they play it. The rest of the world doesn't always play volley club in the same way. In fact, while this is amazing, these points are really good, like it's because I've like got out of literally this, the score that I just showed there was like 14 points to 14 points. So it, it, it's, these are the best points yes. out of the 30 points that are played in, in the match, right. which is good. I mean, these are like literally some of the best players here as well. And yeah. you can see that's in, they put it perfectly to the back corner. Um, but again, it's difficult to enjoy this because, I mean, I say I enjoy it. I enjoy this, but it's difficult to enjoy the full tournament leading up until this point because it's like sometimes two, sometimes three days yeah. um, yes. of the players who are here in the semi-finals who totally deserve to be there just like dunking on everybody else from the rest of the world and by the rest of the world I mean like anywhere except like the you know Leipzig and Berlin or wherever these wherever these jugglers come from yes. and uh, and when I say they've optimized the fun out of it let's actually let me show you here as well there's a few points I just made then let's let's get back to here so here Jochen's at the net and you see what happened then Jochen is right here at the net he catches the club and he is so tall and he can throw it anywhere he wants because he's one of the best in the world at this. Yes, he yes. could throw it anywhere at all in any of this place. Right. So all he has to do is throw it where the opponent isn't. And yes. so he uh, oh sorry. and so he gets the club and it comes over and he just touches it over. And these guys are literally just standing there. So what happens in these are the highlight points from this match. And most of them is someone catching the club at the net. And let's go forward to this one. So he catches the other club at the net and he goes, and this time he just throws it to the back. And, you know, Matty does catch it and goes over there. But yeah. here he does the same oh. thing. So it's yeah. time after time, one person standing very close to the net, throwing it to the places where the jugglers aren't. In this case, it was dramatic because Matty got there. Yeah. And he threw it back. And in this case, Jochen takes it and he just throws it where Martin isn't. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So they've optimized this. Here's Martin throwing it to where Jochen almost got it, if you know what I mean. Well, so, it's the way that it should. You, you should do that, you, right? No, to get again, the point, if know? this is the size of the court, yes. there's no point in doing anything fun except stand as close to it as possible. So stand here as close to it as possible and then throw the club where the other person isn't. And it turns out it's too easy to do that because they use these courts, which are eight metres by eight metres per side. It's like 16... They, they're playing on the volley club, you know. Volleyball. Uh, sorry, beach volleyball court. Okay. Yes. And that's really great for like, okay, I've got the, here's a, here's a right. diagram here as there well. We so it. for different numbers of people. So for six and fours, it's, but we're talking about two beat, two versus two. It's eight meters across and eight meters down the side and then that's eight meters. It's huge. huge. And what happens is with, with volleyball, you hit the ball to where the other person is going, but they don't need to get there. They don't need to catch the ball, do some juggling and then throw the ball again. All they need to do is like scoop their hands yeah. underneath like yeah. they, all they need to do is get part of their body underneath the ball as it comes down they're playing on sand so they can dive for it yeah. so exactly what's happening here uh, I, 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 again this is just one of those random points so it comes over he throws it over and it goes like this like Jochen just can't get there because if that was a volleyball and the volleyball was coming down there, he, he might have been able like, to. He might have been able to pop it up, it. Yeah. and then he's up and ready to and go also again. And also, it's impressive because he was actually quite close to it. Yeah, yeah. Like he isn't standing all the way back or something. He's like in within reach. All, all the way back there. So what's happened is that the best volley club players in the world, and I'm not again not denigrating it, for the size of the court that they've decided to play, which is sort of like we'll just use this standard eight by eight space for two people, yeah. which for jugglers is too high.
hard. So it's only when you get to the semi-finals where you get the top eight players in the world doing this kind of stuff and Joachim comes over and he gets it and he's running around like this is super dramatic and he's already dropped so there's nobody there's nobody left on the other side so they can just pop it back over. Right. It's super dramatic but it's only super dramatic because we're literally watching the eight players in the world who are, it's, it's, who are physically able to do this. Yes. And I'm not physically able to do it. Like, I just chucked it out there. Yeah. So, yeah, this is in the final now. So these are the top four players in the world in 2019 at the EJC. And also, if you're in a, in this kind of, like, culture of this is how you play, yeah. you get to know it much better. Yeah. Then when you come from somewhere else where yeah. you normally play different, yeah. and then you have to switch your playing style to yeah. accommodate this this playing. Yeah. So, which which is fine. So, again, for the people who play this, but when I say they've optimized the fun out of it, the other thing that happens is that, uh, like, again, they're, they're throwing around. Let's, let's, let's just watch this. This is the final, but this is match point, and it's match point to this side over here. Okay. Um, uh, hopefully this works. I can't remember. So he throws it up, but Jochen's already out there, but nobody notices he's out. So I'm commentating on the point that it's all still going in, and he and he throws it over, and it turns out... He's he's actually it goes all that goes out, but the team who you think won didn't win because right at th right at this moment here, see Jochen yeah. there. If you touch the net, you're out. And so what happens is he catches his club, and you see how he touched the net for a well, second, split second. Touches his it. club touches the net. Okay. This moment means he's not allowed to touch the club. He's out of the point. Okay. He's not allowed to touch it anymore. Okay. And so he so shouldn't. Anything have, afterwards, after yes, this and bit. because. Is, because is Matty one? threw it to him there, they've yeah. lost at that moment. They've lost the point. Yeah. Not when he touches the net, yes. but when he's involved in the point. After. Okay, it's a, it's a small thing, but in the end, the, uh, uh, the Ma um, Martin. That's Martin. That's Sebastian. Yes. So Sebastian comes out, explains it, and these guys get to celebrate. So a little bit confusing, but this is still one of my favorite. So I'm I'm being critical of this, but this is like a real like favorite moment from the EJC that year. Yeah. It was like a really good fun, very dramatic, but. All of these dramatic points are like, you know, at this point where I think the camera swings around. Where is it, is it here? The camera swings around and we show the scoreboards. Uh, oh, I can't even see it here. It doesn't really matter that much. But the score at this point is like 16-16 and it's like two sets of 16-16 and it's gone on for a really, really, really long time. Two yeah. days worth of volley club. And this is the first time the volley club is with two teams who are like, like actually good enough yes. to challenge each other because yeah. most of the time most of the points look like it like exactly like this they catch it and one person just like drops the club and the other two people are literally just standing there it goes over and there's nothing they can do but shouldn't that make it faster no it doesn't it could make it faster if all of the if it was like they were all the matches were shorter if you know what i mean okay so here's the thing so i get over to 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 play volley club and i'm signed up because I'm one of the guests at, at TurboFest. This yes, is in January this year. It's in year. Canada, is it? Turn it up here as well. It's in Canada. This is my teammate over here. This is Theo and uh, playing against like lots of Canadians, lots of Americans, lots of people from all over the world. Yeah. And they play a kind of volley club, which is much more like the volley club that everywhere outside of Germany plays. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it's just, again, it doesn't matter that we just win really easy that they can't even catch because each match is only goes up until five points. And even though like we mess up there as well, like, oops, like this. So every match is to five points. So if it's really one-sided, you finish up the match in like two minutes yeah. and move on to the next match. So, so like, it, it's like, uh, um, in, uh, like in com uh, Final Combat. Like yeah, you have so like it's, five yeah, it's, points. It's up to five points, the matches are over quickly, mm -hmm. and if they're one-sided, they're over more quickly. Yes. And if it's close and each team is, is getting points, you know, like that. So, again, these are just little highlights because, again, this is like the first edit that I made on the plane back when okay. I was putting this together for a vlog, you know. So, again, they just throw it over. And it's, and it's fun and it's fast-paced. And also... From the very first match, the energy was there mm -hmm. because that wasn't like in like EJC um, volley club where you've got like four courts and everyone gets split up into groups and it, and and like everyone it's the, the groups yeah. every, like so one well, group that... over here, one group over here, one group over there. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to like separate like yeah. big EJC uh, yeah, yeah. convention and this smaller convention that happens because you know it's no. fewer teams. It, no, it part. isn't. No, there was no. there was twenty one teams took part oh, here. Really? Twenty one teams, okay. and everybody. And we played double elimination, and I think there should have only been sixteen teams. And at the end, they were like, "Oh, this match is more important, so let's m play this one to seven points, and this one to nine points." And I was like, "No, no, let's just keep playing to five points." You know, and in the end, we, I, me, and Theo lost in the final because I mean, I'm not saying if we'd have played to more points, maybe we would have got more into it. 
but uh, could have been could have been more into it. Ouch. But anyway, I just want to uh, just illustrate this point: is that at this point, because the court is so small, I actually think this is slightly too small. Again, I'm I'm trying to like talk about this uh, objectively. Like when the court is this small, nobody is ever left looking at a club coming over and saying, "I couldn't have caught that club." Right. Do you know what I mean? Like I you, couldn't have got you to that club. Can stand in the middle of the court and basically yeah. reach. And there's Everywhere. other ways to make it. So here, there's people doing. There's people doing like like I'm doing helicopter throws and stuff, and hoping they don't catch it here. Theo is having to catch the nasty. So it's much more feels like juggling. And whenever anyone, whenever a point is scored, it isn't like in when I play the German style of volley club. Two people watching a club just come down and land where mm. they aren't. Yeah. Every single point here is. It, because it's the the courts are more di like smaller. Yeah. Every point is to again you and also you're allowed to hit the clubs. But here's the thing: every point comes to like that was going way over his head. Let me just show you that one again. So it's coming over. He throws up. He hits it, and it's going really far out. But he can get back to it. Like you can get to yeah. each club. Yeah. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah. And also but, people because it is possible. People look more active. There's way more like yeah. going back and forwards. Yeah. Positioning and it's it's way more. And these are the teams active. that are really bad. There was only like at the EJC. There was only maybe four or five teams who were ever going to win this. And 21 teams entered. But yeah. again, we played ev double eliminations. Everyone got at least two matches. Yeah. And which is fair. Which is fair. Everyone got at least two matches. And, uh, you know, so if, if it's the two top teams in the first round, they can come back through the loser's bracket here as well. <laughs> um, but every single point ends with people moving towards the club to catch it rather than just watching it land in front of them and go, uh, uh, oh, well, yeah. we were never going to get that. Or going past them and go, oh, again, we're, we're okay. watching here. We're watching like the, the, the lowest the lowest level of um, that's a very good point there because he, okay. he smashed it down. So, OK, OK. Can, can we now bit, yeah. um, compare it? You said yeah. this is a bit smaller. Um, yes. So this court, instead of being eight meters by eight meters, it's like five meters by five meters. Okay. I would say six meters by six meters. I'm not sure what size that is. That's maybe like badminton court, you know, so yeah. or, or bring it all in a bit. So I would suggest to make Volley Club more accessible to me and everyone. And I say not just me, I'm saying everyone. I'm good at this. Like I rented this and we got to the final, mostly because the guys who, well, we'll you'll see, we'll see some of the footage from the final later yes. on here. Uh, Have you ever entered a, uh, an EJC volley club? I tournament? used to enter it, but yeah. what would happen is I would go in, get dunked on by the better German players. Like the good German players would just dunk on me and we would like score nothing. And then us up against, or like me and whatever, whoever, whatever partner I had, would dunk on everybody else, if you know yeah. what I mean. We could just be like a bit better at that style and the other players wouldn't have fun. And then like, you know, that skill gap, you're like, oh, just get good. It's like, yeah, we could get good. But in the end, only eight people in the world are good enough to have a really good uh, experience and fun experience. Yeah. And you only get a crowd to watch the finals when, or w actually watch it when it gets to like the semi-finals yeah. and finals. And how long does it normally take at the EJC? Like, hours, hours. Is? Like one day you'll start at 11 a.m. So you've got to get there at 11 a.m. And it'll go all the way through to 7 p.m. of like taking turns at playing on okay. four different courts. And then maybe the next day they'll have the, the finals. And like last year at the EJC, it was raining. So right. like I, I would love to go along, but Delay. other stuff was happening and yeah. I didn't want to s sit around in the rain and things like that. But what we're seeing here is like, it, it feels like the same atmosphere mm -hmm. as the semi-finals and finals all the way through. Yeah. Again, there's a balance to be struck here. But what happened is that some of the guys here went to the um, uh, IJA festival and there was, I think there were some Germans there or something and they held like a German style volley club tournament for everyone to enter. And everyone entered it and really didn't have any fun because they're used to this. This yeah. is their normal volley. Everywhere outside of Germany and the tournaments that the Germans organize at the EJC, this is what volley club looks like with people slamming it over and house rules and smaller okay. courts and everything so, yeah, like what, that. What's that with the sl like, slamming? There, well, like the, the rules the, are... Going... Okay, so uh, different rules. So let me just explain here. Let, uh, hopefully people on the live stream can see my mouse. In fact, I'm pretty sure they can because I'm doing a window capture here. This line is the halfway line. This is directly underneath. It's difficult to see. Okay. But you're, you're not allowed to step on the line. You can touch the net. If you touch the net with your arm or yeah. a club, fine. Yeah. Don't okay. worry about yeah. it. In fact, I think, do I do I have here? So, yeah, maybe this one here. It comes over. And as I step forward here, you see my foot? 
Yeah. Uh, my foot there is touching touching there. Yeah. So apparently I'm out, and someone shouts, "Hey, Luke, you're out!" Or your foot touched it as well. But I didn't. It wasn't the it wasn't the umpire. It wasn't the right. guys over. It wasn't the guys Somebody over here else. that said edit. So I'm like saying, "Look, if other people shout out, I'm not going to stop." But yeah, it, now right. it is a bit tricky because I just looking back through this footage noticed in the final one of the guys who we were playing against. Uh, put their foot and we should have got the point uh, we, oh they should have been out so the idea is so it's the same thing as what happened with Jochen which I was saying before like at this point I shouldn't shouldn't have been yes. allowed to touch it yeah. but if so the the idea to stop people getting too close to the net isn't you're not allowed to touch the net right. it's that the line, the, the the line if you put your foot over it yeah. it means you're into their space so it's, it makes people not just like come way up to the net and push yeah. up to the net it's more okay. about that kind of thing okay. so uh, so yeah that's that's what's going on here um, and then I'm like, no, the umpire has to tell me I'm to stop. I'm not just going to stop when anyone in the audience shouts yes, to stop and things like that. That's the, the job of the umpire. That obviously. is the job of the umpire. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you. So the idea is that you're not allowed to throw down over the net, which is the same as the German style. Yeah. But you are allowed to smash down, like exactly in that in that way. There. Oh, okay. the, the webcam's in front of here. So you're allowed to throw up and you're allowed to smash down. You're also allowed to block. So if somebody throws something over, you're allowed to jump up and block it. So it, it like feels a volley like oh. volleyball now you're not allowed to do this in German and I don't even remember the reasons why and I'm not saying that's bad I'm just saying that see he missed it there so he threw it up and didn't do it and other people were throwing it quite close to the net but actually over the net and someone would jump up to pretend to smash then not hit it and it would just come over oh it was this team actually yeah. so uh, this is uh, Joe here um, so in that case it came over the top He and didn't catch it but yeah this team here had this tactic okay so so it comes here oh the, yeah so these are some of the good the, the better teams here as well see how he's jumping up to block it yeah. that's that you're allowed to do that in this in this case as okay. well so you don't have to do to, to juggle and to have contact yeah you can just use your clubs and yes it's possible to use your club so so let's watch this again he, he throws up you throw it up as a flat and he comes over and hits it over and he doesn't touch the net and his yeah. foot doesn't go across the line here okay isn't so. that then also like an attack that can just it's like the the no. ultimate attack nobody ever gets that club if they do the, the no 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 and... check it out let, let, check this out here this is me i actually made a note of this but check this out boom huh. oh. look at that you see you can like if you're really good and that landed in. Oh, it was. I mean. So awesome. let's just watch that again. Yeah. It is possible, but like I say, it's it's. That was a light tap. <laughs> it was a, it, if it was too much, but it means that the dramatic point of the club going where the other people are going isn't going there because it's too far for them yeah. to get it. Yeah. I'm going to skip back a bit to some previous. Uh, yeah, where were we watching? We were watching back here as well. Oh, we just seen this. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, this is just some stuff for people to watch as well. Okay, so what's happening is it's people are not catching it because it's hard to catch because it's coming down quickly mm -hmm. and it's coming down chaotically mm -hmm. to make it difficult to catch but it's always possible to catch it like it's possible to get there yeah because either it's going out and if it's not going out it's possible to catch like that yeah he caught it like yeah you can I mean, push he it ca but he, he, he so this is him it. getting it down yeah. and uh that was in. So okay. he actually managed to he actually managed to win the point here as well. Nice. So okay, this is the team that we faced in the final, but this is a double elimination. So this was like the first final, and then other people came over. Yeah. So this team is this guy here with the with the the heart, and he does a lot of standing there and like blocking down. Yeah. And so the tactic that I had, which in the end didn't work, was that I'm always going to throw it high enough to get over him to get to the guy behind. Yeah. Because he kept on blocking. He kept on blocking it. This this was this was the winning team here. Yeah. And he they won because they played this style. So I always threw it over the top of him yeah. and tried to get to the other one. In the end, it didn't always work. But he's he, I, he caught I, it. Yeah, he would always catch it, and this was tricky. And so this is coming to Theo, uh, uh, and Theo just drops it. But the way that they won was being better at this style yeah. of volley club. Yeah. And this is this is now not the highlights. This is like every point. Every point is as crazy as this. Every point is people getting their hands to it and almost making catches. Oh, here's another thing that they do. It doesn't matter if it touches the net. So in in the German style volley club, as soon as it goes like this, boom. That's it. We win that point because okay. they it threw came, the club and right. it hit the net. Yeah. And here it comes over like that and I catch it and I'm just sort of like, uh. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, did we win the point? And I was like, oh, that would have been our point. And we, and we lost the match there. Oh, so okay. we lost that, we lost I that match. Understand. Oh, this, this is where they do it here as well. So again, what's happening here is that they're, oh no, I went back too far. 
So here it sets it up though as though they're going to do a smash, and he jumps, and it didn't need to do a smash. Oh, you see, it just fell down. Yeah, and and um, he could. This guy over here could have got to that. Yeah. But he didn't because he was expecting it to smash and he was yeah. expecting it to do it. And that's what I say. Once you get to the good teams, they know that any club could be smashed or it could be or it could be, be gentle. It could be it could be gentle or it could just like go over the edge and stuff yes. like this. So I think the smashing is really good fun. I do think it should be blocks should be allowed like upwards, but I do think it should be the similar kind of rule that you're not just allowed to smash down yeah. because it gets too because if you're tall, it gets yeah. too too easy. I was I just like, about to say that yeah. um, if that is like a, a thing to be doing, yeah. like that you can use, there will be teams who yeah. figure this out pretty fast, yeah. and then it's like a constant like bunk bunk. No, but bunk, the point bunk. is, the guy in the end never did that to me. Yeah. In the final, they didn't get points off by smashing in the final because yeah. I always threw it over him. Yes. So it didn't. Yeah. So they didn't. It didn't. Or they didn't. Never blocked it. They yeah. did try to smashing, but I was good enough at catching, and we learned the lesson. We didn't yeah. quite learn it early enough to win the tournament, yes. but we we did learn the lesson as we go along. Right. I uh, have one more question about the. Yeah. Um, what is it the, the deal with you lose you you drop one club and then you're still partly in or like what's the the deal with the with the until that point you're out and then okay. you're in with well, that's not what's happening here what's happening here is that um uh, this guy was he's there was an injury so oh, what happened okay. so actually at this point what happened his partner was injured but he's like oh i'm going to keep playing right. anyway so what happens is that he's just playing as a solo okay that's a, an exception and he and he manages to win two points as oh, a wow. solo okay yeah. that's great And so it comes. He's already played it, and it comes over, and he and he and he does this, and he and he drops, but then it goes over. So it's it's a similar kind of thing. So here's the issue with this, which I find quite aesthetically unpleasing, is that when you drop, and this is what happens here as well with this point with Jochen, he should have been for in German rules, he should have been out already. Um, but what happens is it's possible to win a point. Oh, let me think of a better example. So here, Martin has got the, he's going to get the club, and he throws it over. And he drops his own club, but still wins the point. But you see, the moment that he let go of it, it was, he was already, the, the moment he dropped his own club, like here, he throws it there, but his own club hasn't hit the floor yet, if you know what I mean. So yeah. he's still in. When he lets go of that, he's still in, and he gets over, and he's dropped. So he he's out of the point, but then Jochen just doesn't get to it, because of course he doesn't get to it, because it's, it, the courts are too big and you yeah. can't make it to anything. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so yeah, at that point, Martin wins that point. Even though he even though he wasn't juggling at the end, he didn't make his own catches. He didn't hit... The club went over and it didn't hit the net, so he gets that point. Mm -hmm. So, yes, aesthetically speaking, I don't really like this, because I think... But aesthetically, I mean, it's maybe the wrong word to use, but I think that juggling should be about catching yeah, the like, clubs. Look, look at this yeah. now. Okay, now I need to understand. I know, no, look, look at um, and Matty now. Matty is out. Yeah. So he he's out completely. Yeah, he's not allowed to take part anymore. Okay. He's not allowed to take part anymore. And then, right. but Jochen's out as well because he's yeah. also dropped there. So, okay. but what I'm saying is, it's possible to win points. At match point, you can finish with all of your own clubs on the floor and still win the point. But just by having it, uh, like the the pro having started the process of, of throwing the club over, early enough. yeah, early okay. enough, yeah. yeah. So uh, my proposal to this is what we do in team combat to fix this mm -hmm. is that I think at the end of the point you should look at who's got their own two clubs and they haven't dropped their own two clubs and they haven't either touched the net uh, or stepped on the center line, depending on what the rule set is. And if you're still in the point you get that number of points. Like in team combat, if there's two of you at the end, ah, okay. you get you get two points. If there's one of you and you get one point, yeah. and if everybody drops, you get zero points. Now, that there isn't... Sense. It can make sense. I'm saying it would be a change. Yeah. So in uh, over here in... Let's let's flick back over here, uh, back to... Uh, yeah, back to here again. This is like one of the other losers' finals. This is me doing an interesting catch. catch there. Yeah. So here... There isn't a way where you can a point can end and nobody can get any points. Whereas if if the people drop, both of them drop, but they technically are still in the they're still in the point, they would get zero points. So in other words, at the end, it's always worth going for it. Yeah, it's always worth trying to get the volley club back over because you can either win one point or two points, or you can make it so neither you or your opponents get any points. Okay, but otherwise the, the, the points counting when you get the point or the opponents is the yeah. same, right? So yeah. it's not like in some sport, I don't yeah, know, yeah, yeah. volleyball where you, 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 can get, um, you can get a point because your 
opponents didn't make a point. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's that it. Is, so that, that it would everything would still be the same, right. except sometimes the point would end and there would be no points awarded to you, but also no points awarded to the okay. opposition. Okay. That's a proposal that I would have to make it so people are incentivized and are rewarded. To try and to get to it. To, to always try and get to it, yeah. even if they're dropping their own club. And it's worth it, but then, like, they've dropped and their opponent's still in, but then that point is only worth half as much by the time you get to the end. Okay. And you could either do it, so we still play, like, these matches where you were playing, to, I think this in the finals, we were playing to seven points or nine points. So it could still be... Oh, that was... <laughs> yeah, it's, this, yeah, again, this guy, he did it, and but it got to the point where, like, I couldn't, I always had to throw it over, and I wasn't sure what was going on there, but he managed to get it, like, yeah. and it's some... It's there were some amazing points here. Unfortunately, it had gone on a bit long, so a lot of the audience had left by the time we got to the final. Okay. And everybody who had played and been eliminated, so like there'd been 21 teams, and yeah. now there was two teams left in. So all of the 21 teams had to like go and do workshops of and course. see other stuff. So how long did this last in total? It was 21 teams. It lasted about two, a two and a half hours, and we got through the whole event wow. in 21 teams in two hours. And here it is, match point, a tournament point, Nice. No, that wasn't. That was. This no. brings up tournament point. Okay. But you see, again, That's let's clean. let's watch that again. We're both in. It's good. We didn't really have it. I was I threw it up to Tio. Tio catches it. We come back. I. You play straight at him. Straight at him. And that's the skill would then be don't play the club directly at the opponent. Yeah. And here I try and do it, but I kind of got freaked out because I kept on losing points with him and I just threw it too long. Okay. And we lost it by me throwing it too long. Okay. So um, uh, one yeah. more question: Is there like a um, you know you 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 catch the volley club, you start yeah. juggling? Is there like a count? Can you juggle like yeah, three but, times? Yeah, you you catch the club and you're allowed to do two self throws. You're okay. allowed to throw your own club once and then your other club once and then you've got and to okay. pass or return back over the net. Okay. That's the, the same. In, yeah, yeah, it's always the same. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, let oh didn't mean to do that. So let's bring it back and we can. I'm just going to start here as well and I want to propose some these these different things. I think that the EJC German like the German style of tournament at the EJC there's only one way to win points at the moment and that is like again throw, like everyone's good enough at catching that like people are doing these helicopter spins here and it sometimes does that it's only because he's out of position if you're playing optimally the other like point after point after point is that you stand near the net and you throw the club to where the other person isn't like down yeah. on the floor that's it and that's what optimal play is and it only gets exciting when the play when you're not playing optimally yeah. like in this case uh, whatever this guy is over here he yeah he threw it not perfectly and it got caught and now that's Again. unoptimal because he's not in the right place if you know what yes. I mean it gets crazy when it when it breaks down a bit yeah. but everyone now at this level is so good that it doesn't break down yeah, at the exactly. highest level until it goes to the right place where where they equally are good at avoiding yes. the, the things going yes. wrong stage but yeah, again, okay. and also they go to 14 points versus 14 points which is great for an event if the event is semi-final semi-final final yeah. and you want it to last an hour and a half yeah. long the score line of 15 16 is perfectly good so so what in how, the second like, set because we had 14 14 and now we're 15 16 what's yeah, the end point they, uh, two like get to get to fifteen points and then two points clear like in two points like clear. like in a tennis tie break okay. I'm guessing well that can all we know yeah. that and it that means can it lasts take yeah a really long time because it extends it is that it, how it's in in the turbo no nope. no thing? advantage it's first to five points and just go for it yeah. but there isn't such an advantage on receiving it so what happens in in German volley club whoever gets the club off the serve is expected to win it's the same in like men's okay. tennis where whoever hits the ace yeah. should you should be holding serve more yeah. often than you don't hold yeah. serve you know yeah. and there's a bit but with but with the turbo style volley club there's less of a there's less of a um thing oh i actually just remembered that i had a, i've had another video here as well let's just let's just press play at this one in the background so you're asking before about what happens if you drop here somebody drops their own club let me think i think it's this guy over here this is an announcement of the swedish juggling convention so he catches his own club but he there. drops it yeah. and guess what this guy does just follow him he just stays in the point but just with one club so he then only gets one self oh you know what right I mean? okay so the two selves is because you juggle two two clubs yeah so he you only have one yeah and oh, so now okay. these guys over here have one club each so they're only allowed to use one hand so, yeah. he, so he gets it ah, and he doesn't so but you understand so yeah. there's nothing wrong with this rule it's just the house rule yeah. of 
um, of the, how they played the Swedish juggling convention okay. or, or well, the it's people a bit who played like there. In, the, in, you know, in zombie combat, how yeah. you have the different yeah, stages yeah. of like, you can do different things yeah. depending on how many clubs you still have. So what I, wanted, what I wanted to show with this video is that I love, like this again, what we're watching now here, one of my favorite events at the EJC in 2019, yes. absolutely amazing. But why wasn't I taking part in the tournament? And why does it only get interesting when you get to the semi-finals and finals? Yeah. And I think it would it's be... It's quite a commitment. It's, it's a real commitment. Like, I would love to take part in the volley club if it would only take maximum of two and a half hours out of my... Out of my... Of one day. Uh, of one day. <laughs> yeah. And I knew that it was bounded that I would start and two and a half hours later, no matter what happens, it's over. So yeah. I don't want to, like, say that this style of volley club isn't, like, the most elite. It is the most elite. But it's elite for literally eight German people. Like... <laughs> Uh, and anyone who wants to join in with that. It doesn't feel very accessible as well. It isn't accessible. That's, I think that's the main thing. It yeah. feels inaccessible. And the other one, literally 21 teams turned up. Too many. Should, they should have capped it at 16, yeah. like they normally do. Yeah. And they shouldn't increase the points that each match takes yeah. when you get to the end. Yeah. If it's have five points amount. at the start, yeah. go for it. So I made some nodes over here as well. I'd like to propose either a new tournament or let's see if we can like incorporate this. Smaller courts. Six meters by six meters on the side rather than eight meters by eight meters per side. Okay. Make it so it's possible. And also it would make this more interesting. It would make the just stand at the net and throw it to where the people aren't. It would make that more difficult. It would yeah. actually make it more challenging for these German players because they would have to like throw it and they'd have to pinpoint the throws even better. You yes. know what I mean? It's, it's even harder. And I thought when I started playing volley club, I was like, ah, I'll probably win this because I thought my, like, I've played a lot in Germany like, and Europe. You're a good, good I would juggler. Just, I'm a, I, no, not just a good juggler. It's like, like I, I've never got done very well at an EJC yeah. fight night. And, sorry, not fight night. I've done well at your fight night. Uh, volley club because they're just so much better. But it's like playing combat in Berlin and then going, like, even the 10th best combat player in Berlin is going to do better than, yeah. like, the best combat player in, no offense to Canada and America, but, like, that kind of thing. Yes. I mean, there are some good players. But, yeah, but we got so here smaller to. Smaller courts. Yeah, small fewer points, uh, like going up to fewer. Points. No, no, smaller courts forever. The number of points mm -hmm. I think is dependent on what style of tournament. If you want a tournament to last two days, yeah. and you want to play every match up to sixteen points, that's fine. That's a different. That's a different kind of thing. But I would suggest, like, if you instead of playing to five points and making it so if you drop it with one of your own clubs, there's no penalty and you can still get a full point. I would say let's experiment. I'm not saying this is, should be the way it's done. I'm saying why not experiment with some of these rules that mm -hmm. you can pick up from around the world where people are like hyped about the volley club from yeah. the start and people are hyped to take part and everyone is like and it doesn't matter if if it's unsided like lopsided yeah. because you don't need like many rounds of of uh, of play to get to, to decide who's the best yeah if you know what i mean yeah so i would say you yeah, know all the normal rules like uh uh, only straight passes to serve, you know, like you have to serve it. Here they actually said you have to say who you're serving to as oh, well. Okay. You've got to say, I'm serving to you, and you've got to do a nice underarm, nice, nice pass yeah. at, at the start yeah. to start the thing. Um, only two passes per side, only two selfs per, you know, uh, time you that you catch it. Clubs. Yeah, if you catch it like that. No touching. Uh, I like the notes standing on the line because it's kind of easier to police than no touching the net. Yeah. One person is just looking at the line, yeah. at the feet, and they just say, oh, your foot touched the line, you were too close as yes. well. Yes. So, uh, and you some can really, defend yeah. in the air by the net. You can, I would say blocking is, is good. But again, I, I I think we need to experiment with the with the with the hits yes. downwards. Yes. I think hits upwards or hits like this, but in the yeah. same way that you're not allowed to go to the net and throw down. Yeah. I think no smashes mm -hmm. down. So you're allowed to block up and you're allowed to hit if you want like to. to hit in a, like if you want to add yeah. chaos. Yeah. Um, but uh, but I, I think blocking down at the net is perfectly good. Like you just because then you just got to throw it where they're not there. If you know what I mean. I yeah. think there's ways to make this yeah. make this interesting. Yeah. And yeah, and then uh, two points per exchange, maybe if you want to do that. And then if you want a, a fun, pa like fast paced spectator and beginner friendly kind of audience uh, kind of event. Yeah, do it. Double elimination, maximum 16 teams and only up to five points with the normal kind of scoring or maximum of 10 points. No um, 
uh, uh, no, what am I trying to say? No advantage. Yes. Just get through like, it. Who gets there first? Yeah, whoever gets there first. Yeah. Or you can just say half points. That's a, that's a different way. If you if you want to say that, if half one person, points. yeah, if you drop, so you get a half point. If you know what I mean. So still play. It's the same as getting two points for when you're, there's two players, like we do in in team combat. So I'm just saying, let's put it out there. Let's chat about it, and uh, let's uh, let's see if anyone's interested. Hopefully, some German um, volleyball people see this because there is. Uh, Oh, this is yeah. This is the one versus two bit again. Yeah. Um, so that's yeah, it. let's let's try out some turbo volley club. Yeah, let's cut. Yeah, like maybe we just uh, uh, that you can do like the normal German style volley club at the EJC. But yeah, let's just play turbo volley club at the EJC and see if people are interested in it and if it's appealing and if it becomes a fun spectator event. Yeah. Because again, if you can get, if you can do the whole thing in an hour and a half, that could be a, awesome. an event which could you could like you know fill one side of the gym with or like the volley club place yeah. and everybody knows that they can go along take part and finish watching it all within an hour and a half yeah. or m maximum two hours and i think it yes. could be, be, make it, the volley club final a bit more than like you know four germans playing in the rain like it was last year and I, again i'm not saying it was bad i'm just saying in the end it wasn't for me you yeah. Know? yeah 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 no we always enjoy watching it and going yeah yeah there. yeah yeah but, uh, but it's, it it's very unfocused at the start when there's 32 teams mm -hmm. trying to take part and you have to have a group here and a group there and a group there mm -hmm. and you're never quite sure which court to be watching. You know, there's not that focus at the start. And at the end, it's like, okay, so it's the, the same guys in the final each time. Which, yeah. again, not saying that's anything different in the fight night, but the fight night, you can enter the qualifications and you know you're going to finish up in an hour and a half. Yeah, and then, I mean, another argument to have two tournaments is that yeah. uh, you can still have the, let's call it the German elite version or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So... <laughs> Elite and have, Turbo. You can have the, the, the people who really want to do that, who want to commit to two days, and that's totally yep. fine if that's like your, your main thing at the EJC. Yeah. And then, but then you, um, it's always, it, it's, it's a lot of people who are interested in doing it. Yeah. Right? So if we if we then take a, a few of those. Yeah, yeah like then, let's skim off the people who just want to like have two fun matches of exactly. volley club. Yeah. And they can come along and do the double elimination and we can take them off. Again, so I'm saying there might be room for both. There might just be room for updating the rules a bit, like making it a bit tighter in so it's it's more difficult to play optimally for, yeah. on, in both ways. Yeah. Again, I think the courts here are too small, too small. a little bit too small. Yeah. At, at, uh, but I've played many, 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 many times around the world. Only in Germany do they default to... Uh, beach volleyball size yeah everywhere else is more like badminton court size which again i'd have to look up exactly what it is yeah. but it but it's oh uh, it's it's not this if yeah. you know what i mean yeah okay all right well interesting so uh yeah that, let's wrap it up there that's our little podcasty i mean it's not a real podcast it's more of a live stream and we're not even live streaming it's just a video that yeah. i wanted to record in one take <laughs> yeah so but we... you can see what's going on yeah all right let's wrap it up there uh, thanks for watching and hopefully people find this interesting yeah and if you have feedback or like yeah. ideas get in, get in contact. contact or talk to other volley club people um, yeah. all right let's let's just watch the final point one more time <clears throat> and I'm gonna throw it out Aww. and I lost it again I'm so I'm so used to the eight by eight on either side like if normally if I like my muscle memory is messed up if I throw that yeah. one it's sort of like oh, of course that's not gonna go out just a little throw like that and on this smaller cut I'm like oh no that's very out all, all right. right thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you next time goodbye